Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbot's here, and welcome back to Children of Zodiac. So this game's coming out in, like, two days. <laughs> so we're gonna actually start putting out episodes regularly as opposed to piecemeal, because now it's actually finally a priority and we kind of want to get it done. I don't know how long this game now, is. Now, the last time we left off, we were down in the shambles. Yeah. And Pester had betrayed us to Argon. Supposedly, yeah. Supposedly. We just heard that they were waiting to have, like, an ambush. Yeah. So we were taking another route. Good thing you know where we're going, Nami. In between, it's like a maze built inside the wall of a maze. Corridors for days. I would never find my way out. It's all about reading the walls. You listen to the pipes and the pumps. Oh, the bumps. Sorry, I thought there were pumps down there. The little hollow clangs. They tell you where you are. Uh-oh. Don't look now. But here are a few more of those rechecks. Uh-oh. Warning! Unidentified creepy individuals approaching! Zodiac weapons detected! Is it just me or did the font get much bigger? Maybe. Thornum Brothers, youngins have brought down our kin! Murderers! Y'all invade our home, bring death and destruction on us! Now you're gonna pay! <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's quite the voice to do. Uh, uh. Big Papa, don't, you don't end up with a breathing apparatus like him. Uh. Okay, this guy's got some really bad breath. Even down here, I can smell it. That's what eating stinky feet gets you. More freak rejects this time, and they look a little tougher than the ones we fought before. We gotta take him out. Zero, I hope your protocols agree. Unidentified feed eaters, regrettably, I am compelled to use deadly force to protect these children. I do not wish to harm you. Cease all hostilities immediately or face the consequence. Who gives us justice when we've been wronged? Who mourns our family, our children? Revenge! Kill him! <laughs> no point in trying to reason with these degenerates, Zero. They just as soon as eat us for lunch. Let's show them something they'll understand. <sighs> Defeat Big Papa is the victory condition. Yep. Oh, and Jesus And there's a Christ. ton of children How many dudes and do we have to healers. fight? Level 19, level 17, what level are we? Okay, we're, we're like kind of halfway reasonable. Okay, so we've got regeneration, regen, regen, regen. Ah, consecrated fist. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> the consecrated fist. Wait, but he's not using it. Oh, there we go. You don't want to use get... it on yourself. Oh. Oh, you need to turn the dice thing off. Yeah. Again. So since this is a new computer, uh, I gotta switch some settings around. Okay, cool. We are entering Guardian. Uh, good to go. And yeah, we need him to be in guardian mode for the uh, for the heal buff. Mhm. Mm Shame the counterattack comes at the very end there. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess before I go anywhere, let's go options, game, automatic dice rolls. Okay. Disable vibrations. Gonna drop the sound effects just by a bit. And oh. Oh, I can't change my settings. Well that's fine. Okay, so what do we got? Uh, we got a bunch of healing. We got It looks like you can't really go around blitz. the left side, so you have to go around the right through to the center. Okay, so I get a free action and I do a ton of damage to him. Good. That's what we want. <laughs> They still fall through the world. Yeah. Wah! I'm getting flashbacks to thump a thump a thump a thump a thump, thump, <laughs> thump, thump. Okay. Probably gonna be attacked from this direction, though it probably doesn't matter too much. Uh so we get damned, we got leech, ton of leech, and eruption, but eruption's not gonna do us any good. Oh, you're just out of range for well, that I'm guy. Well, I'm probably not going to be able to kill him anyway, so I'm not even going to bother. Uh, 
Okay, cool. Okay. Either way, he's down. Or she. I yeah. think they sort of scream with a more fem... Yeah, they do have kind of a feminine... Ah, ah. Um, But yeah, main goal there is to draw as many cards as possible. The enemy phase. Uh-oh. Uh. It's okay. Evil, Evil Eye is Eye. not actually that big of a deal. Unfortunately, debuffs are really hard to... Uh, I got all of them. Yeah. But, like, debuffs are really hard to manage in these games. Oftentimes, debuffs just don't matter. Uh, and so in this this game is a very prime example of, like, a game where debuffs just don't change a darn thing. Like, it might cut my damage down by, like, a point or three. Or sometimes hurt me, but for the most part it's just been, well, it's fairly mild. Okay, so what do we have? We have Vanguard Stance. Vanguard stance. Yeah, let's make the most of that. Oh wow, it gets both. Yes. Uh do a decent amount of damage. I'm trying to see what I wanna. What does the red here. broken star do to you? Uh it reduces my damage. So this is the cursed dice that we were given. Yeah. So this actually reduces our damage by two. But even then, like... Fortunately, one of the dice was just a blank. Yeah. Okay, so now it's only one red star. Yeah. But, uh... Honestly, like, that is hardly a harmful debuff. Oh, in retrospect, I shouldn't have put him there. Well, it's too late now. we got a couple of things we can do. Does she... So we have Eruption. Oh, but that will hit yeah. zero. Eruption and Runer. Ah. Oh, Runer will. That's just a straight line. Yep, and it'll kill them both. And draw another card. But yeah, seeing as we don't run out of cards, I might as well kind of take it slow here. Nice. Yeah. She's almost up to the next level. Okay. Now, are you going to... The problem is, if you go into the center, you're going to get flanked on the right. Yeah, so I was going to see how we have kind of this, uh... Trying to decide. Sort of like She's the passage. Got six cards. Can't do it. But yeah, I was actually going to just try and lure them to where I currently am, because they don't have much ranged attacks. Weren't there instances in previous maps where if you didn't, per like, go forward, they wouldn't aggro on you? Yeah. This is actually one of those situations. So we're gonna try and make the most of that. Um, oh, you think you can actually reach that singular character over there? Yep. In a moment. You mean the next turn? Yeah. So I'm gonna waste some time and I'm gonna use and abuse some things. Okay, so let's draw cards preemptively. Careful that you don't draw too many cards, because then you discard well, them. Right? Yeah, that's what I'm specifically going out of my way for. Yep, no enemies are aggroed, so they yeah, just they do not have very aggressive AI, which is super helpful. Oh, can't hit them from here. Nah, they're they're on sort of a special spot. Wait, what was? Hold on, it might just be a line of sight issue. There, there we, go. we go. Okay, let's see if I can just take them out. Woohoo! That's actually really good. I suppose you don't need bleed if they're going to be dead. Yeah, I was going to see if I could get a get an extra card. But this is okay. Cuz yeah, I can just nuke these guys from afar. Woohoo! Level 17. Cuz yeah, I'd I'd rather take kind of a uh a slow and steady. Kanami stealth? Is that part of No. Yes and no. She can stealth. But I specifically you haven't given her the, the stealth card. Yeah. yeah, we don't have enough... Uh, it would have been nice if you could have snuck across and subtly so taken them out. You're right about that, but I simply uh, don't have enough party members to justify stealth. Mm -hmm. uh, when I actually have like a... I wonder a what other party members we will get. Don't know. I mean, I, I was assuming we'd keep Pester, considering it but... seemed... Yeah, it seemed like he... Traitor. Well, we'll see. Do you think it would be one of those situations where, actually, I was just leading Argon to you so you could finish him off? Or it's one of those situations where we thought that, like, Argon would be disgraced and join the crew. 
I don't know. Yeah, hard hard to tell on that one. Okay. Oh. So if I move him right here. And he's still in guardian stance, and it doesn't seem like that's going anywhere. I'm just gonna try and bait like one of them out. Because uh, I think that one guy will move now. Yep, oh, here they come. Okay. Creep. Enter a shroud, so he goes invisible for this. I wonder if I can still hit him with AoE. If you can gauge where they are, maybe? I don't know. I Wait, don't know how it's going to work. but we can see them while they're shrouded. Yeah. Hence why I was curious. It's like, well, you know, it might it might not actually uh, let us. Or maybe it will. Who knows? It might be one of those things where maybe you just can't attack them because they're not, quote unquote, there, even though you know where they are. Yep. Yeah, this is why I didn't want to go out too much, because mm -hmm. now they're all just kind of... Now they're all coming. Yep. Not that that's actually really that much of a problem. <sighs> if she gotten max damage on her uh, on her retaliation, she actually would have killed him. Oh, I noticed. The, that counter is impressive. Yeah. She does a lot of damage. Oh, that's annoying. Ouch. Yeah. Can I actually attack through zero? Yes. Because of the dagger. Okay, let's see what I can do. Everybody's bleeding. Do you want to heal with zero or? I will be. Corruption runer. The problem with runer is zero's in the way. Well, here's what we're going to do. Okay. Actually, do I want to do that? Let's move him back. Oh, they can walk through each other. That's yeah. That's convenient. Yeah, teammates can, and that'll give us regen and evasion. Okay. Which is exactly what we want to combat bleed. I don't know if uh, bleed can actually be stacked in this game. It can in Darkest Dungeon, which is crazy good. But I don't know if it works in this one. That's fine. Okay. So next up, we want to move her here. Can she attack both adjacent enemies or no? Well, yeah. Part of it is I'm trying to decide if Eruption would kill them both. Does Bryce have a turn? Yeah, the only problem is she needs to be where Nami is. Uh -huh. Well, you could always move... I guess the other option we have is... Oh, but then you Bryce know, is in the way. I'm gonna... I'm gonna gamble on it. Because I don't wanna... I don't wanna overextend here. Okay. Nice. damage. That's fine. Wait, what's the skull? Uh, means she takes some damage for casting the spell. Hmm. Which... I can tolerate. But I think she'll heal, too. I just don't know which triggers first. Oh, so it's sort of like a recoil with her gauntlet. Yeah. Uh, it's it's from the cursed shard dice or whatever. Mm-hmm. Wait. Oh, I see. It's a heal spell, but it also uh, gives them some bonus shard dice. I gotcha. But yeah, my goal is to kind of lure these guys out. I don't know how long they stay shrouded for. But it can't be that long. Also, it does not do that much damage, but it's because magic spell on Bryce. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Was that because of the extra dice or the shroud? The extra dice and the shroud. Wow. You need to heal Bryce up and annihilate him. I, unless she's going to die. She's going down. There's nothing I can do about that. 
I gambled and I gambled wrong. Well, uh, I guess we'll have to make it with two. That sucks. Against Big Daddy? Yeah. Or Papa? I mean, luckily it's my two healer characters, but that's brutal. Okay, so we have Blitz. Uh, let's go for him first. Well, that gets him. Yeah, it's more or less exactly what we need. Do you get another turn? Yeah. Okay, then you can take out the other one, hopefully. Yep. Uh, let's see, Rus yeah, risky. Strike, that's enough. Don't care about the bonus damage. See if I can re-roll a second turn here from any of these dice. Nope. Well, we'll murder him at the very least. And she's... Did she get countered? Or no, that was just a potential counter if he didn't kill your opponent. Uh, yeah. Trying to decide if if I do this, will it give her another move? Or do I just go forward? I'm just going to go forward and smack this guy. Do a decent amount of damage. Mm -hmm. Heal him a little bit. Won't hold on target. Eh, more damage, I'll take it. Unfortunately, Zero's base damage is kind of garbage. But I mean, he's supposed to be a defender. So very true. Makes sense. Well, he does actually have moves specifically oriented around... Um, uh, specifically oriented around, like, doing more damage. I just haven't queued them up. Whoa! Yeah, remember these guys can heal. That hurts. Uh -huh. It's okay, we got regeneration, so the damage isn't nearly as, like, bad as you'd think it would be. But it's annoying. It's too bad our characters don't have the ability to... Uh, like, Nami couldn't, say, throw a dagger up to that guy, right? She might be able to. <sighs> uh, they might Stance have... doesn't do enough damage. He's just going to heal him next turn, right? Yeah, they might have fixed it or changed it or whatever. Well, we got knives out. So I'm just going to go oh, for this guy. Oh, that's not enough. It's okay. I was kind of operating under the assumption that I wouldn't be able to kill him. But yeah, this is going to be and a hard... And then you're going to vanguard him? Yeah, this is going to be a hard fight without... Uh... Without uh, Bryce, yeah. Yeah. It's too bad there isn't any... Uh, restoration or... Resurrection? Resurrection. I mean, really, I think I just need more party members. I, I feel like a lot of these battles were Hope not... we get one soon? Yeah. Ooh, I feel like a lot of these battles were not balanced from the perspective of just like, oh, they only have three party members. We should probably, like, limit it down a little bit. It's just kind of like, eh, they'll be fine. Or they'll grind. And, I mean, these guys are two levels higher than, um... than my own my own characters, so... Wow, I can't, I can't imagine that. Okay, unfortunately... We need to draw a card. Actually, if I do this, Temporal Anomaly. Okay, so, whoa, that's a lot of health that she doesn't need. It's true, but, like, we've got a ton of healing spells queued up. Okay. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get her another turn. We're gonna see if we can back away from the guy up top and lure him down, because he's already aggroed at this point. Yep, okay, she does get another turn. Awesome. Wait, but she can actually jump up there on the right. And then jump up further from there to get to him. It's the only way. Okay. Oh, hey, one ability was able to hit him. You just didn't want to do it? My heal could oh, hit him. Oh, that's your heal. Oh, never mind. That's going to hurt. Ouch. Yep. Uh, 
Uh, he's. He only has one card. Yeah, he is out of cards. Oh, nice! The regen did help. Oh yeah, yeah, that regen was making a huge difference this entire time. That's why I was having an okay time fighting these guys. Okay, knives out. Not enough. Nope. Not necessarily. Ah. It's fine. I have options. It depends on if he is a heal or not. Well, sort of. Because he only has one card, right? Or are you going to blitz? Ah, uh, I can't blitz. I was... I thought I had another Knives Out. Um, mm, mm -hmm. Hmm. Because, yeah, I can't blitz. I can't risky strike. And you can't move, right? well, I'll just pop a heal. Mainly get it out of there. We can get more. Uh, and we've got a dedicated healer character. Mainly I just want to get that free action and the card out of there so I can draw some more cards. Also for EXP. There's okay. the there's the knives out that I was looking for. Huh, a meditative subroutine. That just allows you to draw. Yep. Uh it'll give him temporal an anomaly, unfortunately I can't use it immediately. But I'll have it for next uh round, which we might need. And then I'll just probably start drawing cards left and right. Oh. Well, hey ho. <laughs> I don't think this could have gone any better. I like it when they refer to like the hand of fate. Or the the hand that fate dealt you. Kind of thing. Uh it works with the game. Yeah. I will admit I've not actually seen where you're getting this from, but that's just because I'm not. Nami's mentioned full it attention. a number of times. Oh. Oh, I see. It's part of like dialogue and about all that. like circumstances. Yeah. Yeah. But now we can blitz him. Woohoo! Get her, uh, kill him off. Get her free action. And now it's just the the small fry, Papa, and his two healer goons. Yeah. Which actually, will not be a. Uh, Will not be easy. I get the feeling Papa is going to do stupid damage. Yep. Okay, targets draw. So is the point that there's there's a moat, so you have to go up and around? No, yeah. I, I can go here. No, 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 no. I'm saying like the frontal assault wasn't yeah. ever going to work because that center passage isn't a center passage. Probably want to take out the little guys, right? It depends on if that one healer... Well, I mean, if I can just kill this guy. Yep. Nope. Nothing can be done about that, then. Gotta see if I can reroll these two. Not gonna screw me. I was hoping I could get an extra action so I could draw some cards. Yeah. Just looking at the the gore on those guys. Yes. They've resorted to cannibalism. Okay. And we're just gonna have zero draw non-stop cards. Okay, so uh, they are gonna they are gonna start coming for me. Blood offering. My goal is probably just to run away at this point. I've kind of lured Whoa, them out. Oh yeah. He's coming. Was that forty? Yeah. Some? It's gonna it's gonna hurt. I mean we have a dedicated healer, but I can get two shot here. Depends on what this one does. Not gonna kill her. Gonna okay. hurt. Yeah, the problem is, uh, without Bryce we are in uh we are severely, severely down on DPS. Now, are you just going to have Nami run over? Okay. Okay, that's exactly what I needed. Yay! 
Gets us some shard dice, gets her a little bit of extra healing, and free action. Uh, let's see. Knives out, that's kind of exactly what we want. Mm -hmm. And regen the rest of the way. Awesome. Okay. Then it's just a matter of funneling them all to you? Kinda, yeah. The problem is we still have the spellcasters that we have to worry about. Mm -hmm. um, well, we know that she can one-shot the stalker, right? At, at this point, she can one-shot everybody but Big Papa. Wait, he can walk on that? But yeah, yeah, it's a little bridge. Oh, I didn't realize that there was a bridge yeah, there. Yeah, there's a teeny little bridge there. Oh, it was in the dark. All right. Yeah, I guess it's a box. I thought it was in the moat. Like, just the moat. Okay, evil eye. Evil eye on zero. Yep. Poor zero. That's fine. Cursed star dice is not, uh... Not something I'm terribly worried about, but yeah. Nice part is Big Papa is real slow. Now, if we're that lucky, she'll counterattack and kill him. Nah, close. Ah, uh, so close. Okay. Trying to figure out what I can do here. Okay, so we're gonna have her run over here. Oh, so you're gonna go after that guy first. Knives out. Woo! So close. Uh, uh sort of. Are you. Sh wait, that broken shard die is a seven. That's sort of extreme. Well, closer. Oh, that was so close. Yeah, it's fine. We'll kill him. And he's held. Yep. A free action. That's why I said, we'll kill him. Okay, that heals her <laughs> Overkill, back more like. Let's see. Yeah. That's what I... That's what I need. Yeah, since I'm down to two, we're pretty much stuck in a position where I absolutely have to... Uh, Kiting. Well, yeah, I absolutely have to kite these guys. Which actually is kind of fine. Um, okay, draw cards. But I also cannot uh, waste turns drawing cards here. If I can avoid it. That should be good. We get hold and more regen. And Great, so now it's just the healer and the papa. Yep. So, uh... Whoa, he's so close! Yeah, I know. To next level. If we had... A little bit more time. Well, I guess let's see what happens. Big Papa is not going to be able to get past the healer, and the healer is the healer going needs to... to. Oh, he's moving up to his vantage point. Yeah, that's fine. Unfortunately, I don't think I have any good ranged attacks. Knives Out was ranged, though, wasn't it? Yeah, but I've used all of my Knives Out at this point. Mm hmm. All the cards in your hand, and all the cards in your deck. Uh, I don't know if you in have my hand. counted. Yeah. yeah, I've got Blitz and Risky Strike. Okay, so we're gonna do... Other things. Uh, regen, regen. She's still got a couple of turns of regen. Okay, so let's just draw some cards. I'm not too worried about this guy's damage yet. Hmm. Uh, we don't care about the shard dice. Let's see if we can reroll anything that'll get me an extra turn. There we go. Yeah. Just in case I happen to draw a whole bunch of knives out here. Knives out. Well, we got a knives out. We lose a will to live, but I'll live with that. She's up to 19. Woohoo! I will have to do some grinding, though. Poor Bryce has, uh... Poor Bryce was left behind. Yes. Oh. Okay. Reroll that. Reroll that. Not enough. But enough to either force him to healing or, uh... Maybe we can get him on the next round. And he's held. Yes. Unfortunately, we still don't have much of a way of hitting him from here. 
No. Papa's not moving. Well, I don't I don't know if it's Papa's turn yet. Oof. Ooh. Actually, that kind of works out. Oh, he is hopping over. Yeah, he is. He's just real slow. These sort of remind me of the villains that you would see in uh, the old Mad Max films and whatnot. Okay. Generally in, like, post-apocalyptic worlds, there's always, like, the, the cannibal... Well, I mean, he's got a very guys. distinctive Morton Joe mask. <laughs> well, that's... Yeah. More, most and recent didn't every Mad didn't Max everybody film. call him... Uh, some people call him father? Oh, yeah. I have not... I don't... Well, it's because know. all of the... Uh, oh, what do they call them? Okay, so... They call them the do... boys. Temporal anomaly, yeah. Celestid Hero gets another turn, and a little bit of healing. The yeah, we're gonna boys. back up. It would suck if it turns out that, holy crap, we've been doing this episode for half an hour already. Uh, <laughs> it, it takes a long time to well, get through yeah. these battles. Some Especially when, when poor Bryce is gone. Yep. Okay, we're just going to pull back. The other guy's probably going to heal himself, but... Uh... Ah, risky strikes. Yeah. Well, it's fine. Uh... The hold is gone. Yep. So he's gonna heal himself. He's healing himself. I mean, it's fine. Kind of my main goal here is to uh, lure Papa. Maybe lure Papa out. If if he had actually not gone up on top there, we would have had a much easier time of it. Well, I was thinking the healer. Yeah. If the healer had well, gone yeah, yeah, up yeah. Into if that... the healer hadn't got up into that little area, it'd be great because I didn't want to get stuck up there with Papa. Mm-hmm. He has so many subroutines. Yeah. We might as well use it. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's fine. Those cursed star dice are annoying. Mm -hmm. Means I don't get my bonus effect. We still get the card that we need. I think... We get the card that we need, yeah? Well, it was something fist. You had drawn the fist. Yeah. Well, it was supposed to give us fist. temporal anomaly, but instead we ended up picking consecrated fist? I'm curious about that. Huh? Yeah, I'm curious. Unless I there were different ones. Hence why I was confused. Uh, that's fine. I Unless you don't have any more in your deck and you're only drawing the cards available. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think you ran all right, out. Alright, fine. Do, do you not have that many? I uh, have so many of temporal? these, I'm just going to use actually all of them. Uh, I might as well cycle his hand out for a bunch of more useful things. Cellular regeneration. Yep. It also is incredibly good EXP farming. Just, dr just drawing cards? Free cycling cards. But yeah, if we can get the Temporal Anomaly, that means Nami can hit Big Poppet twice. Ideally from behind. Ah, there we go. Reshuffle. So now... Mm, now you have a Temporal Anomaly. I'll live. That's what I needed. And we get the regen. Okay. So let's just guard. And she's got seven, and oh yeah, it's just nothing but blitzes and risky strikes. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. Okay, so where can he move? He, he can, can move, move there. there. So if I move her up to... Just beyond his reach. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, worst comes to worst, temporal anomaly will It's nice that you can actually... Heal. Oh! You son of a... Eh, whatever. It's just bleed. I just, I hate this guy. <laughs> yep. Oh, he didn't go all the way. No. Which makes this a bit harder. Ah. 
The question is, will you be able to kill Papa? How much damage can he do? Uh, he can counter up to 30. I think we'll be okay. He's 130 some. Okay, so I'm not getting that free action unless I work hard for it. I'm not getting that free action, period. Okay. It's okay. I have options here. Alright, so we have... Temporal Anomaly. Oh, good. No bad dice. Yep, no bad dice. HP bonus on him, which really doesn't make that much of a difference. But this is what we needed. The free turn. Yes. And fortunately, Big Papa spawns in yeah. with a... Or, not spawns in, but he's... He's guarding, so he's got a shield bonus. But if you notice, we can get behind him now. Backstab! Unfortunately, because of these goddamn cursed... Ah, there we go. That's exactly what we needed. The mm -hmm. uh, the cursed shard dice. Can uh, you attack again? Star dice, yeah. It's been making it incredibly hard and to... And this will end the battle. I don't think you actually need to get that last guy. Correct. All I have to do is kill him. The extra experience would be nice, but we're fine. Oh boy. Woohoo! Bastards, you killed me! My whole dang life's flashing before my eyes! It ain't right. My <laughs> 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 bago! The leader of th these freaks called them brothers. I guess even foot-eating cannibals have families. We should get back to ours. Victory! Fight is over for now, yay. Wow, that was... That was rough. That was a and fight. And you have a lot of things to grind. Yes, we do have a moment of quiet. So, what does a metal dolly eat anyway? Screws and wires and stuff? Why no, Miss Bryce? Ingesting solids is not required for this unit's continued function. I am powered by a Zodiac energy converter. Forget it, okay? Sorry I asked. Your mumbo jumbo gives me a headache. Okay, we'll do the rest of these moment of quiet quiets uh, at a later date. <laughs> we have D&D &D to do, so I gotta go prep for that. I was like, maybe there's just one. Nope, there's multiple. All right. Oh, like I was saying, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Most abrupt end ever. Yes. Put the brakes on it.